Hi everybody, my name is Becky Powers and I work for the Naperville Public Library and Adult Services. And today I'm going to show you how to create a Sharpie art mug that's fun for all ages. The supplies you are going to need for this craft are a white mug, oil-based paint pens, masking tape or painter's tape if you want a specific design, nail polish remover and a q-tip uh, to help if you make any mistakes. So the great thing about this project is you can really be creative in any way you want. You can either freehand your design or you can use the tape to create a specific design. So let me just show you some of the examples of ones that I have created. As you can see here, I just did some simple arrows all the way around freehand. I also created one with zigzags. Now I did use masking tape in between to keep it separated. My favorite one, my four year old created a mug and he drew these jellyfish and I added the ocean scene around it. The one I'm going to specifically show you today is the monogram. So for this, you'll want to grab your mug and you'll want to create a letter out of your tape. I had thicker painter's tape that I used to create the curve and the P. Once you have your letter in place, you'll take your paint pen and you are just going to do polka dots all along the inside and all along the outside of your letter. Now you'll want to place the polka dots closer together nearer to the letter and space them apart as you go away from the letter. So let me show you that effect on the one I've already created. So as you can see here, they're closer together near to the P and then they go further out and it kind of creates like a confetti effect. Something to keep in mind with the paint markers are they are not food safe. So you don't want to have any design inside your mug and you want to try to keep the paint away from the top of your mug. As you can see here, I just created a little area where I knew I'd be sipping and I kept the paint further down away from the top. Once your design is complete, you'll want to remove the tape and let your mug sit for several hours or overnight, and overnight is preferred. Once it has set, then you'll want to start the baking process. So you will take your mug and you will put it on a baking sheet, and you will place it into a cold oven that has not been turned on. Once the mug is inside the oven, then you'll turn your oven on to 350 degrees and set your timer for 30 minutes. Once the timer has gone off, you'll turn off your oven and you'll let your oven cool completely. You will not want to handle your mug until it has cooled completely. And this will also prevent any cracking from happening. Once you've used your mug, in order to wash it, you're just gonna hand wash it and hand dry it. I also want to highly encourage you all to check out Creative Bug on Naperville Public Library's website in our resources and services. It's one of our databases and it's a great resource to help get those creative juices flowing. There are hundreds of videos on anything you can imagine that you can create at home including Sharpie art, drawing, crocheting. It's a really, really fun database. So definitely go check that out. Well, I hope you had fun doing our craft today and I will see you next time.